you getting on, Mr. Rogers? Nearly finished, Mrs. Kieran. Good. Georgina. to you, may I ask? We're Georgina's cousins. We've come to stay. Yeah. Just what Professor Keelan would want. Three more kids about the place interrupting his work. Lucky for you, he shut himself away on the island. He must have built that tower, then. Uh-huh. It's part of his experiment. Top secret it is, too. So don't you go blabbing to no strangers about it. Don't let me catch you in my vegetable patch. What does he think we are? Rabbits? There you are. How lovely to see you. Oh, thanks. Well, you've certainly changed since I saw you last. I was still just a baby. Now, you must be Julian, mm -hmm. and this is Dick. Did you have a good journey? Yes, super. Lovely ride from the station, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, good. And I've arranged with the station master to have your baggage sent out. So, bring your bikes round the back and we'll go straight into tea. I you must be very hungry. Yes, I hope you've got enough of those two, Aunt Fanny. Especially Anne. She nearly didn't make it from the station. Need building up, you know. Lovely afternoon, George. Lovely afternoon. It certainly is, Mr. Jones. Did you have a good lunch, sir? Possible. Rather too much shop talk, you know. Ah, just in time for the office cuppa. Ah. Miss Peters, I'm leaving town for a couple of days. I'm sure the minister will be able to manage by himself until I get back. Have my car set round to the front, will you, please? Yes, Mr. Johnson. Thank you. Tomorrow, we'll all go across to the island, have a picnic lunch with Uncle Quentin. Super! Where's Georgina, Aunt Fanny? We're dying to meet her. I don't quite know where she is. I'm afraid George has got a bad habit of disappearing off just when she shouldn't. Why do you call her George? Because she likes it. But that sounds like a boy. <laughs> That's just what she hopes. I wouldn't like people to think I was a boy. No, but then you're not very like George. There you are at last, George. Tea's nearly over. I'm not hungry, thank you, Mother. These are your cousins, Anne, Dick, and Julia. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. 
Why don't you take them all outside and show them a few places? But I've got to... Got to what? Nothing. Good. Off you go, then. I'll clear away. Thanks for the tea, Aunt Fanny. Yes, it was terrific. Oh, that's all right. Off you go. Don't be late back. Quite. So we can go to Uncle Quentin's Island tomorrow. That would be stupid, Georgina. My name is not Georgina, it's George. And the island isn't his, it's mine. Don't be silly. It is. He gave it to me. And now he's working on it and he won't let me dare. But surely, if his experiment is so top secret, why is he doing it out there where everyone can reach him? Huh. You try it. The rocks out there would smash your boat to bits. Only Father and I know the way through them. And he needs those tides for his experiments. That's why he took my island. I wouldn't mind an island of my own. Look, I've got something to do, something very secret. So don't try and follow me, any of you. Oh, uh, we wouldn't bother. It's going to be a half a minute with her around. It's all right for you two. I've got to share a room with her. This is going to be a very long fortnight. <laughs> Can I get you another? Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> My pleasure. Uh, Peter? Thanks. Timmy! Timmy! <whistles> Come on, Timmy! Come on! Kirin's girl, isn't it? Yes. A regular tomboy. Master George, I call her. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. That's a dog, too. The professor wouldn't have him in his house. Told her to give him away, but she dotes on that dog more than anything. And how is Quintin? I haven't seen him recently. Oh, well, he shut himself away on the island, experimenting. He doesn't come back over. The missus takes supplies out to him. She makes him signal to her to show he's all right. Shines a torch three times from his tower. 10.30, morning and evening, regular as clockwork. Does she now? Well, I suppose he's working so hard. <laughs> Torches, Dopey. Well, let's go back and get them then. It's getting late. Why don't we come back and explore it tomorrow? Yes, we'd better leave it. Look, let's keep this our secret. George has got hers, and this cave could be ours, right? Right. <laughs> There. You're the children staying at Kirin Cottage, aren't you? That's right. George not with you? No. Nope. Your uncle and aunt are great friends of mine. Why don't you come and have tea here tomorrow? Ah, well, I'm not sure. Oh, it's not important whenever you're passing. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Funny bloke. The place is full of peculiar people. Aunt Fan is the only normal one we've met so far. Uncle Quentin sounds a bit peculiar, too. Well, we'll find out when we go to Kieran Island tomorrow, won't we? 
Dear love, he usually appears if we call. George, take the boys and see if you can find him. Okay, come on. Let's get picnic. Father! Father! Wow, what a fantastic place! Look at it! What do you think those things are up on the top of the tower? I don't know, it must be some kind of solar power supply system. I think the main equipment must be somewhere else. Father! Father! Well, I don't think he's up there. I wonder where he is. Here I am. So, Professor Kirin, your island seems to be attracting quite a lot of attention. You've grown since I saw you last. It was eight years ago, Uncle Quentin. Was it? Well, I suppose that's to be expected, isn't it? <laughs> We're about to work at the moment, love. In the cellars. Cellars? Beneath the ruins, the cellars of the old castle. Is that your secret laboratory? I suppose you could call it that, yes. George looking after you, all right? Yes, she rode us out here, round all those rocks. Mm. Wish I could row as well as that. George will teach you. <laughs> Look, I've got to get back. There's something I must check. Thanks for the supplies. George, you can have your island back soon. I've nearly finished. Don't forget the signals, eh? You know I worry. I won't. Take care of them, all right? Bye. Bye, bye, bye. 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 Well, well. How nice to see you again, Kurt. Chance. Been doing a spot of bird watching, have you? What a splendid telescope. Yes, it's, uh, it's very nice, isn't it? Tell me, who are you working for this time? Russia, China, America? You've been a bit of a nuisance to us in your time, Curtin. I do hope you appreciate that. Oh, no, I'm not working for anybody. Honestly, I'm not. Mm. <coughs> ah, what a lovely transmitter. George, what are you doing this afternoon? It's my business. Oh, well then, you won't want to come exploring with us. Where? That's our secret. We'll be over the ridge at the end of the beach. If you change your mind, we will found something rather interesting. Oh, 
if I know information for you, it's Beth, to a Beth, you're not dealing with them again. Make, the monthly report. Hello, Colonel Johnson. Johnson? How splendid to hear you but, again. I'm afraid your little Johnson, scheme has Johnson, run into rather a sticky patch. Bad luck. Oh, and by the way, you won't be hearing from Mr. Curtin again. It strikes me, Curtin, that you're in a spot of trouble. I think you and I ought to have a little chat. I don't think anyone's been here for ages. Can't see the end. It must go a long way. Come on. a cave. It's a man-made tunnel. It's very long. It stretches out under the sea. <gasps> What's that? It's a dog. Hello, boy. <coughs> Don't know. Must belong to the man on the beach. Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. Come here. That's George's Jimmy. boy. So that's her little <laughs> secret. <laughs> Come on. I told you not to chase the rabbit. And just look at me when I tell you off. It's just not good enough. It's not on now. Come on. Just you remember that. Hello, George. Dick. Oh, hello, Timmy. How did you know his name? You've just been shouting it. He gave us quite a fright in the tunnel. Oh, it's lovely, George. Is he yours? Yes. Then why didn't we see him at the cottage? Father won't let me keep him. A boy in the village has to look after him for me. I'd rather starve than get rid of Timmy. And besides, I hate being parted from him. So that's why you were being so miserable. Don't worry, George. You can rely on us. We won't reveal your secrets. You promise? We promise. On the head of Timmy. Friends? Friends! I don't mind telling you this, George. I'd hate to be your enemy. And another thing, George. That tunnel we found is no ordinary tunnel. We didn't go very far, but we found some steps. And going straight down into the earth. And heading out to sea. <gasps> Are you coming? You bet. Come on. Hello there. Are you coming to tea? We better go. I also wonder what we found down here. Right. And I'm hungry anyway. OK. Just coming. <laughs> Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Sit down. Bit of a mess at the moment, I'm afraid. Gosh, look at that telescope. Oh, yes, that's my hobby. Bird watching. Kiran Island. I can see Uncle Quentin's tower as clear as anything. Chops. Mm, chops. Rare coast birds. I spotted a couple out on the island. I couldn't help seeing you out there, actually. How is your dear father? Well, uh, he's, he's nearly finished, he said. Oh, has he? Good old Quentin. Well, um, perhaps you could help me get the things out. Uh, let's get some cake in that cupboard. I'll put the kettle on. Right. Not that one. The biscuits are on the shelf below. Oh, sorry. Help! The aunt! I mean, my aunt! Aunt Joan! She's coming to tea, remember? Do you know her? Oh, yes, indeed. A delightful lady. Well, we've got to go. I'm sorry. Yes. Bye. And thanks. Oh, uh, yes, silly bus. Excuse us, please. Thanks, anyway. Bye. Uh, uh, an another time, perhaps. Who's Aunt Joan? We haven't got an Aunt Joan. Exactly, and that man said he knew her. He's pretending to be a friend of Father's. And I've never seen him before. You shouldn't have told him Father's nearly finished. You know it's secret. I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. Aren't you jumping to conclusions a bit, George? I don't think she is. Did you happen to notice what was in that cupboard? A radio transmitter. Well done, Kurt. Well, I'm sorry. I, I mean, they rushed off. I, I couldn't ask them anything. Well, I heard all I needed to know. Professor Kirin has apparently nearly finished. Oh, cheer up, Curtin. You'll be busy tonight. All the same, I think we're getting too worked up. 
I mean, as long as Uncle Quentin signals. 10.30 coming up. That place flying, though, it'll pass right over the island. Has he signaled yet? Not yet, Mother. Any minute now. Four. One, two, three. It's all right, George, he's safe. His signal's up, Fanny. Good. Right, off to bed, all of you. Phew, that's a relief. But I will be watching the tad through the binoculars tomorrow morning. Night. Good night. 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 Professor Kirin, I presume. Who are you? No, you don't know me. My name's Johnson. I'm from the Ministry of Research. Oh, thank heavens. For a minute, I thought you were some sort Or rather, of... I should say I was from the Ministry. You see, I've recently decided to strike out on my own and seek my fortune. And I found it, Professor. I found it here. On Kirin Island. <laughs>